Blessings, you all. Part four. As I was saying, this lustful spirit, you have to be very, very careful and understand what is coming out of you and know that it is not the person, but it is the spirit that is within the person trying to get you and that spirit wants you to fall into the trap once you fall into the trap you didn't disobey god's law i'm telling you all and it's not just with the lustful spirit is is with any spirit you have cast out i have said this in previous videos just because you may feel this way a certain type of way does not mean you have fell into sin but what it do means is the spirit is right there is right there that's what why you have to cast it out i told you all rebuke it in the name of jesus don't think because you may fear anything or you do anything oh or you get afraid of anything that's what i mean to say you get scared of anything that don't mean that oh i, I was just in fear no that means that the spirit of fear is right there trying to make you fear because remember you didn't cast the spirit out right so you rebuke it in the name of jesus that's what you do okay you all okay i had to clear that up for you all i'm gonna read matthew 5 verses 31 and this is about divorce people who um want to really know about divorce and what happens when you divorce it has been said anyone who divorces his wife must give her a certificate of divorce but i tell you that anyone who divorces his wife except for sexual immorality makes her the victim of adultery and anyone who marries a divorced woman commits adultery okay you all now this is what happened to me this is how i felt you know i've been married before okay so i had it in my head which was the devil make me think that i wasn't supposed to divorce but see when someone commits adultery you can get a divorce i want y'all women out there to know that even men too you can get a divorce don't think you got to stay in the marriage unhappy and let people walk all over you that's not true if a person is not living right back god is not keeping god in their life first you can divorce them and, and second of all half of the time you may marry someone and it's not even ordained by god of course that's not gonna work 